take a look at the kiln, talk about oxidation and reduction. So now coming up on the kiln, I'm just gonna show you around here when we're firing. This is the people. You can see in there right now, you see those three little spikes and those are pyrometric cones. Those are what are tell us how hot the kiln is. As the kiln gets up to temperature, those will melt, melted cones. All right, those tell us the temperature of the kiln. If you look in here closely, you can see just by the color, it's a little colder in the bottom than it is in the top. See a little bit of flame in there, but not very much. Look around here. These are the burners for the kiln. You can see that it's producing flame, right? And then this burner here, this is how you can control the airflow, right? More air, less air. Okay, it's pretty simple. There's also the gas here. The gas, you can control how much fuel goes into the kiln. And then finally, we have the damper. And the damper here controls how much output, how much flow could go out of the kiln. All right, so when we have an oxidation environment, a neutral flame, which means it has just the right amount of oxygen. All right, so the difference between oxidation and reduction, when you have an oxidizing environment, plenty of air for the fuel, if you hear that, there, this is an oxidizing environment. You can hear the flame is breaking up a little bit and there's plenty of air in the fuel. When we close the air down, right, sound changes and it goes into a little bit more of a reduction increase the fuel adding more fuel is going to put it into a redu reduction atmosphere for a chino glaze we want to produce the heaviest reduction possible so to do that i'm going to turn the gas all the way up i'm going to turn the air all the way down to get a nice lazy flame. In this kiln we have two burners, so we're going to do that on both sides. Turning the gas all the way up, closing the air all the way, and then finally, to get a really heavy reduction, we can close in the damper. When we do that, notice here, now we have flame coming out of the kiln here because of the amount of extra fuel in the kiln. And that's how we know it's in a reduction. All right, you can also hopefully see in the kiln as well, you can see that there's a nice lazy flame. All right, in an oxidation atmosphere, there's plenty of oxygen and a short flame. In a reduction atmosphere, there's a very little amount of oxygen and a very long flame. A lot of the time in a reduction you can smell that fuel is not completely burned so there's a distinct smell to it. One more check-in just to see where we're at. We've gotten a little bit hotter here, about a couple hundred degrees uh, hotter. Uh, we have the air all the way down, we have the gas all the way up, and we have the damper almost all the way closed. Now let's see if we have some soot on the bottom of this damper. And we do. Can you see that? That's actually carbon. That's exactly the same stuff. That's really hot. Uh, exactly the same stuff that's sticking to the pots right now in that Shino firing, right? And we're creating that by the heavy reduction. Let's take one quick look inside now that we've gotten a little bit more heat and you can see the flame. You can see that lazy flame now that it's gotten a little bit hotter. And if we open the top one, it's really going to shoot at us. It's going to be a good firing.